اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Estimate and validate reflective reflective and reflective formative higher order constructs in seminar. In the last session we only estimated a reflective reflective higher order construct. In this session we are going to look into how to estimate and validate a reflective reflective and a reflective formative model in a seminar. Now reflective formative higher order construct A reflective formative model is one where the first order has reflective indicators look at the arrows this is the first order lower order construct number 1 lower order construct number 2 lower order construct number 3 and the arrows are pointing towards the indicators while in the second order this is your second order the dimensions are formative that is these dimensions are forming this particular construct so this is reflective and this is formative now what are the steps that are involved in reflective reflective and reflective formative model assessment in a seminar now what is the step 1 as we did last time or as in any higher order construct analysis you first have to estimate and validate your lower order reflective constructs now in this case we have got lower order reflective constructs that's why i have mentioned it here lower order reflective constructs no matter whether they belong to a reflective or formative higher order construct they have to be validated now in this case both lower order constructs in both the type of models are reflective now this is our step 1 now let's first do our step 1 now let's move to our studio now here is all lower order constructs for reflective reflective and reflective formative model this is the model that i'm interested in testing now internal marketing is higher order internal service quality is higher order organizational performance is just lower order now before i test this model here where this blue solid line reflects reflective reflective construct higher order construct the red dotted line here reflects reflective formative higher order construct and this is just the lower order construct we will first have to assess all the lower order constructs for their reliability and validity why am i saying reliability and validity that is cron batch alpha composite reliability convergent validity and discriminant validity because all the lower order constructs in this case as i mentioned earlier they are reflective now first all the lower order constructs will be estimated and validated now to do so we need a code with all the lower order constructs that is vision development rewards measuring internal marketing assurance reliability empathy responsiveness measuring internal service quality and then the single lower order construct in our analysis organizational performance now i'm not going to get into detail as to how to write this because this has been done in very earlier videos the next step obviously when you have identified your measurement model the next step is to create your structural model now how do we create it now since i'm interested in linking the iv that is internal marketing with the mediator and the mediator with the dv and the iv is linked directly to the dv all the lower order constructs will follow a similar pattern look at this vision development rewards that is sub constructs of im linked to organizational performance they are also linked to internal service quality that is the dimensions of internal service quality and internal service quality then linked to the dv just as the link pattern here we follow the same link pattern for our sub constructs now that we have linked these variables the im dimensions with organizational performance the im dimensions with the mediator and then the isq dimensions with the dv now the first step obviously we need to estimate our model so let's run it step by step now again the estimation follows a similar procedure let's run it and let's look at the plot first so let's zoom into it it looks bit complex but if you look into detail of it you will find a similar pattern as we have just done one here now that this is done again you've got your output you esteem you present your loadings you present your reliability you present your fonal locker estimation 
you present your HTMT, you present your cross loadings, everything that you need or everything that we have discussed that we present in evaluation of reflective model, we do so using this particular code. Now that we, we have estimated and we have presented the reliability and validity of all the lower order constructs, what's the next step? The next step is to assess the reliability and validity of the higher order reflective reflective construct at the second order level and include the reflective lower order construct and assess their reliability and validity as we have done in the last session as well. Now, in the last session, we only had one reflective, reflective model with a lower order construct. Now to do so, here it is. What we have done is we have included the higher order construct here. Now in this case, our higher order constructs IM is reflective reflective and internal service quality is reflective formative. Now what we need to do is we need to present the reliability and validity estimates of the reflective reflective higher order construct along with the lower order construct that is your organizational performance. Now this one here is a higher order formative one. So its estimation or validation would follow a different procedure as we have discussed previously in evaluation of formative models. The second step, assess the reliability and validity of the reflective reflective higher order construct along with the other lower order construct. But this estimation or validation would not involve the formative higher order construct. Now before we move on, it's very important to note that this is your higher order reflective a reflective construct. Well, there are no weights mentioned. It is by default mode A. Now, if you want to present a construct as a higher order formative construct, or you want to identify a construct as a higher order formative one, you have to add weights mode underscore B. Now look at this. ISQ is a higher order formative one. Now the arrows are pointing from the dimensions to the higher order construct. Again, the lower order constructs were reflective and they were estimated or they were rather identified as we have previously done for all the lower order construct. Now this higher order composite construct ISQ is made up of these lower order constructs. So this is a vector and the names are assurance. This is assurance here. Reliability, reliability here. Empathy, empathy is here. Responsiveness is here. Now these are the lower order constructs with these indicators and this higher order composite construct of ISQ is made up of these four lower order construct. The same is the case for IM. Now IM is made up of these three lower order construct. But IM is reflective reflective so I haven't mentioned any weights but ISQ is reflective formative so I have mentioned weights with ISQ. Now again the arrows flow from your lower order constructs to the ISQ because ISQ is a formative construct. So how to do this? Let's run. This is again simple relationship. Now we are interested in linking the higher order construct with the other higher order construct. The reflective formative construct with the other lower order construct and the reflective reflective construct with the other lower order construct. Again, the same procedure for estimation and let's look at the plot as well. Let's clear it. Let's run it. Now let's zoom into it. Look at this. This is reflective, formative, reflective, reflective. And this is just lower order reflective construct. Now what we need to do is we need to get our results. Now let's get these results here. Let's first look at the summary, then loadings, reliability, HTMT, cross loadings. Let's go up till cross loadings for now. It's going to give you all the details, obviously, but you should be obviously cautious enough. What we need to do now is we need to report vision development and rewards. We do not need to report these. So we will report this for now along with our OP. Now look at this here. IM, we are going to report IM and we are going to report organizational performance. We are not going to report ISQ because ISQ is a formative construct now. The same goes for your formal and locker criterion and your HTMT. 
it's higher order formative so higher order formative will be removed from your reporting of results for reliability and validity now how do you validate isq again refer to your original evaluation of formative construct we are going to do this in this video as well because the code is there again let's have a look at this the cross loading again we do not need isq although some have suggested to reuse uh, cross loading as well but for now let's not use it now in order to validate your higher order formative construct that is reflective formative internal service quality you need to look at the collinearity diagnostics you need to look at the outer weights and if the outer weights are not significant we need to look at the outer loadings and if the outer loadings are less than 0.50 we need to look at the significance of outer loadings just as we did earlier the link of the video will be shared in the description the next step let's do some bootstrapping now in this case have a look i'm taking isq as a mediator in this case so let's run it now i'm bootstrapping so it might take some time now we need to assess the VIF values so summary underscore simple then the dollar sign validity and then the dollar sign and VIF of items so if we click here now just select it and let's run it now look at this here so I'm interested in this so VIF well it's less than five so we are good and the weights Let's have a look at the second thing, the weights, what are we interested in? So the first step when validating a formative construct, you check for its VIF values of the indicators. The VIF is good for ISQ. These are the four indicators for ISQ. The second thing, we go for our outer weights. Now look at this, insignificant, significant, insignificant, and significant. Now two of them are significant, two of them are insignificant. So let's look at the loadings for this now. Summary underscore boot at the dollar sign and we need bootstrap loadings. Let's run it and look at this. Where is ISQ? Here it is. Higher order construct, ISQ. Look at the loadings, all good, all greater than 0 0.50. So this is how you validate your higher order formative construct just the way you validated your lower order formative construct now that you have validated all the lower order constructs using this method here all the lower order constructs validated reliability and validity estimated and reported now you have validated your higher order constructs again the reflective reflective one with the other lower order reflective and the reflective formative one based on the vif value outer weights and outer loadings the next step is to assess your hypothesis so we have already ran the bootstrapping procedure let's do the mediation analysis so how do you run it let's run it look at this this is the estimate the t statistics greater than 1.96 so your specific indirect effect is significant from im to organization performance through isq now you can have other results as well let's have them as well summary underscore boot let's add the dollar sign what do you want let's have the bootstrap parts let's run this now look at this the impact of im on us isq this is your estimate this is your bootstrap mean this is your t statistics all these relationships are significant and this is your bias corrected confidence interval no zero in between so the results are significant now we want the plot let's get the plot now here is your plot let's zoom in and have a look here so this is your beta value your confidence intervals and these are the parts r square values and this is how finally you can have a reflective reflective and reflective formative model estimated in seminar the code will be available on my website thank you very much